Good My name is Kimberly Roach, and I currently have two children in Gifted and Talented program, an up-and-coming first grader and an up-and-coming fifth grader. I would like to know if the GT parents could please stand. The talent program is going, and soon we will be getting a Wale tire plant. This will bring 12,000 jobs, sorry, 1,200 jobs to the area. When relocating to Orangeburg, many families will want to know about the public school system here. The Gifted and Talented program is a wonderful vessel for growth and education. And if we want to continue to be funded and other districts look at us as models, why are we changing the model? If we want to be recognized as a world-class education program, we have to provide world-class education. This program has done just that. Before I moved back to the US, my children attended international school. And this program has actually kept them on an accelerated pace. I understand that K through second is not federally funded. When considering how to maybe alter the program instead of going to one day a week for some type of program, why don't you maybe consider combining the classes of this unfunded, this unfederally funded program and put the the gifted and talented children, maybe keep them together so they can stay on this accelerated pace. Uh, just for the opportunity to address the school board, my name is Samantha farrow Moy, and my husband and I, we have a rising fourth grader in the GT program. And we're here tonight just so that you all can hear from us. Uh, we started hearing rumors that there were gonna be some drastic changes to the program, and we wanted answers. We made phone calls, we went to the district office, and still yet, we have not gotten any answers. Um, the district has released a statement through the newspaper, and we've also gotten like an automated telephone call. However, we still don't have any answers. And what we're here asking for is some concrete information. We want to know what changes you're making to a program that's already working. Um, we did receive the robocall, I don't want to be re repetitive, but we received the robocall on June 2nd. However, uh, we're still concerned about the fate of the program. A lot of our questions are still unanswered. So we, as concerned parents, we simply want to know a few things. First question is, when are you going to decide what you're going to do with the gifted and talented program? So we heard from the robocall that the program is not going to be discontinued, but we're hearing that the program may be restructured based on finances and enrollment. When can we expect to hear a definitive concrete answer? The timing is very important because some of us, depending on your decision, may want to transfer our children to other schools. And we're being told that the request, what is it, an intra-district transfer request, has to be filed by July 1. So if we don't hear from you guys, that will el eliminate one of the options that are available to us as concerned parents. Above and beyond state requirements, but based on your standards, you said our children were gifted and talented and deserve the opportunity to be challenged beyond the normal constraints of a general education classroom setting. But to have the wool of deceit pulled over our eyes and the rug of success and progress yanked out from under our children who have been thriving in such a successful program is not fair to them and a disappointment to us.